When we cut our plasmid DNA with our first restriction enzyme, it made two cuts and thus two pieces, a large one and a small one. Let's say that we then add a second restriction enzyme and it makes one cut. Where will this cut be made? Well, there are two possibilities. This cut could occur in the larger of the two pieces uh, made by the first enzyme or the smaller of the two pieces. So let's consider that as our first option represented by a one and a question mark and our second option, a two and a question mark. The data would show which of these two were correct because if the smaller of these two pieces uh, was cut, then when we looked at our DNA bands, the larger band here indicated in yellow would still be present, but the blue band, the smaller of the two, would not because it would have been cut into two smaller pieces which would have run farther along the gel. Instead, if the cut was made in the larger of the two pieces, then it would be the blue band from the original enzyme, enzyme number one, which was still intact, and the yellow band, which was not. The yellow band would now uh, have been cut and replaced with two smaller bands, which would have migrated farther along uh, the gel. If this cut occurred in the middle, then these two would be uh, about the same size and close together. If, however, the cut in the yellow piece uh, was not uh, directly in the center, then one of these pieces would be larger than the other and you would see an increased distance between uh, these two bands. So let's say that the second of the two options is supported by the data then we would conclude that our second enzyme had a restriction site within the yellow band and that it was not perfectly in the middle uh, and so it created a larger piece and a smaller piece.